day of liberation is here. Throughout history, only the biggest and strongest survive. Being big means you're successful, and women love big men. And as a successful man, you need to feel comfortable when you're sitting down to eat. Close for the bigger man. Don't be bound by society, bogus medicine, and the media with their unhealthy focus on being skinny. Don't be constrained by trying to squeeze into a triple X. Bored of feeling like a man in a sausage skin in your size 48 jeans? Bored of being uncomfortable? Gentlemen, child, the clothes shop for enormous men. We're fighting to end hunger. Yours. Coming up next, it's time for the man who can grow anything, big and strong. It's Gardening with Maurice, broadcasting live from his garden. We have a oh, range shoot me over two hundred dollars, man. Come in, come in. I like charity work and designer clothes. Shopping is so important.
you're over 30, it's like it is. turn off the radio right now. You might find this a little disturbing. It's rock and roll. Try on anything you want, as sir. You know it. it doesn't suck ass. The old rock and roll would have. It was a pleasure, sir. The sun, giver of all life. The Mayans worship the sun. <laughs> 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 body serious faces on them and you could tell that they were gonna play this game bottom line is if they don't score more points than the other team they can't win yeah, you have some spooky insights on the sport i love your show man i, I love you <coughs> yeah, yeah look, great talking to you mm -hmm, excuse me hey that's really perceptive stuff you know we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time you can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me! Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't <coughs> shit on no one! But, uh, I do like to piss on my seat and, uh, at my seat too! Not really on it, so stay out of the way! <laughs> tell me, the five games, that ain't read, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a die for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is 
counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. <laughs> and this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guns love. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. Hi, what are you afraid of? Heights? Flying? Polio? Whatever your fear, it's time to face it. Hi, I'm Darius Fontaine, the creator of Inversion Therapy. For years, we've helped patients get past their deepest and darkest fears and get on with their lives. Just listen to this. I was having really dark thoughts. I, I wanted to sleep with my mother. Now that I've done it, I don't want to anymore. Incredible! But, you know, it works. That's inversion therapy. Fear it, face it, do it, conquer it! Got it? Just listen again. Yeah, okay. I was terrified of my children being harmed, so I stabbed them. Didn't hurt me that much. Yeah, now I'm not afraid of anything. That's another life save! <laughs> inversion therapy works! I know. When you take your fear head on, then it's time to move on. I'm Darius Fontaine. Call me today. I'll change your life. Promise. Call 1-866-FACE-FEAR. Prepare to be scared. The news is next. and meeting one-on-one -on -one with members of the community. One citizen told WCTR the real problem with drugs. They always say there's too many drugs in the hood. Homie, that's bullshit. Plain bullshit. I mean, the way I see it is, it ain't enough drugs in the hood. Ain't nothing like enough, and that's the real problem for people. Police still have no leads in the tragic murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury, whose body was found recently. Pendlebury worked for Internal Affairs. It was believed he close to uncovering a huge corruption ring within the LSPD. A police spokesman denied the story. A San Fierro man is suing the Renaissance Fair for selling him replica weaponry, which he blames for a string of murders. Richard caught up with him. I purchased a working catapult at the Renaissance Fair, and after a fight with my insurance salesman over my DWI, I began lobbing balls of fire at his house and burnt down an entire neighborhood. It's inexcusable. The manufacturers will pay. Give me some money. Come on, give me some money. It's their fault. What kind of a person sells a catapult without putting a very clear warning on the side? I don't want to work very hard, so I've hired a lawyer. I'm going to be rich. Seems fair enough to me. I'm Leanne Forget. That was the news. Be safe out there. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. Space. Is it really a Hey, CJ, you made it. What's the business? Hey, Carl. Hey, baby. Nice ride, man. That's no carucha. You sure you want to risk that, baby? Yeah, I'm sure. How much they talking about? It's our cash, your pink slip in the pot. Con Sanfose. Then you pull up and race. The first pass the post wins. Con chota sin chota. Okay, for sure. I'm down. Hey, watch us, CJ. These boys don't like to lose, eh? Yeah, well, me either. Follow me to the race, dude. Them and the Australians and they beat us into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a noise on fast food. Hey, keep up, Holmes. Could make a better space station than them. 
intriguing. I'd like to meet. Not far now, eh? You're in Area 53. Do not use fluoride. It's evil. It made me kill. Come on, Claw. Follow us. Worry about a chemical that the government puts into the water. Animals can now be trained to. You're almost there, Carl. Several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Caller. Hi, my name's Emmanuel. I'm really worried about hackers sending a nuclear bomb after me. You know, through the phone. You know, like a robot my location. Look, it's good for the economy to live in constant. I mean, the phone company, they have your name on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. A cowboy ghost is haunting my house. I want you to take off your robes. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Move. Trapping roads is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Hey man, I love the show, but when are you guys gonna start seeing the bigger picture? Or be lied to, man. The guys like you don't help, but you know, virtually one of them. So you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you think, please just attempt to make sense. That's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my car meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector and Sam Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping to hear those noises. What noises? God, not you too. Now think about the things we talked about today. Think, seriously, think. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're sorry. Oh. oh. Excuse me, this is a supermarket. You two need to get a room. No. Reek of masculinity. Nobody tells a renegade what to do. Sir, that tree is not a bathroom. Oh, really? Oh, not on my shoes. Renegade. The renegade man goes where he wants for the smell of an individual. It's Renegade. Or instead of Renegade, try sweat. The cologne for the animal inside. <laughs> it's real sweat. Because nothing attracts women like a sweaty man. Have you heard? Looking real technical, gangster. Come. <laughs> you ain't run off again yet? No, gangster. I'm here for good. Yeah? Well, fuck this gig, man. I'm putting together a listener party for my album. But first, I need a sound system. Hey, I'm damn as long as I don't have to go to the port. What you talking about, fool? Guaranteed I start playing, everybody will come through. Being real OG, I really ain't into rap no more. I'm more into that hardcore gangster shit. Well, that's me, homie. That's me, OG Low, baby. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I only like them if they rhyme real well. You know, well, anyway, what you want me to steal? That's what I'm talking about. Love for your homies. Now, check it. I caught me a real fly sound system, cruising through the drive through I think they headed down to the beach for a beach party. Now, check this out. I roll with you, and on the way, I can get a couple of freestyles. It's OG Loke in the place. You don't want to stop me with a gun in your face. Yeah, 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 OG, yeah, man. Look, OG. shut the fuck up. Maybe I need to do this on my own. I believe in you. Gangster for life, homie. For life. Yeah, for life, homie. And right is or we're east meets west, and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, I guess it's Cher and Cher Mike, love your fellow man, and all... Hey, what's poppin'? Just looking for some fun? 
Well, hey, let's dance, sugar. Just looking for some fun. Well, why don't you come and dance? Yeah, for sure. Let's see what you got. Who's gonna come and check? I lead the way. I'm twice in the face. You're in a cell. about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big ideas. You're studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young, very foolish. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit, a middle-class disaster, a guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. She was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. Come live the mystery. Glory,
off in our water sports park. I'll show your kids a great time. It's something they'll never forget and talk about for years to come, especially at therapy sessions. It's the place for magic and adventure. Leaving me free to shop and get lipo. Who's ready for the incredible Dribbles voyage? Jerry, can we come too? This is a journey you must undertake alone. It can be dark and scary. So shriek with delight. What's that hole in the wall for? You wait and see. You'll be amazed. Fuck this suit's not. Glory Hole Theme Park. Open every day till 3 a.m. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America. Sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling river. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. The world was But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture. When a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, be the team, become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first call. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, think of it as an economy. Do you have any recommendations? G Low me, and I'ma kick a little something like this. Hey yo, when I come through, open the place. You don't want me to come with a gun in your face. I spit it hotter than anybody in the yo, world could do. That it's shit like I sucks. Damn. Damn, my shit was wet. Hey, what's happening, Low? Hey, Carl, what up, man? Hey, dude, you ever thought about getting a writer to help you out with this shit? Yeah, I did. But who, homie? Who? Shit. I ain't in the rap game. No, that ain't my thing. But, um, we have to think about something. Man. How about if I get somebody to write something for me, only they didn't know about it? What? <laughs> I think I just might have found a ghostwriter. I become the reciter, all nighter, all writer. <laughs> Mad Dog's Rhyme Book from his home in the hills. Mad Dog's Rhyme Book? Man, you said you helped, Carl. Come on, man. I'm hot like fire all night. Hey, all hey, right. hey, hey, I'll do anything, I homie. I swear that. Okay? Fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, Ramos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep honor. Sorry, I lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love you, Miller. It's a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? 
The wild dragon's happy ending. In that very spiritual, you will find in a piece. Awesome, I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers in their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next one. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, <laughs> I was teaching him how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh! Time for me to head south again. I'm James Pedestin, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. Talk is cheap, especially on this station, featuring... Mind-numbing things since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. This week on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a... Don't push me. Just mess up so bad, Tanner. You suck ass. Back off, assholes!
Hey, Loke, I got what you wanted. Holmes, you ice cold, dude. Hey, I'll catch you later. Peace, homie. Hey, excuse me. Loke around here? What? Who? You want friends with that? Loke! Is he available for communication? Who? Loke? Man. Oh, you mean Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, our appliance technician called in six, so Jeff, Loke, he got promoted. So? So? He's out back cleaning the fryer. Hey, what up, Lo? CJ, what's up, homie? Hey, my shit's so tight right now, it's about to bust. So you happy now, homie? Happy? Man, hell no. I can't take this shit much longer. Man, I'm an artist. I'd rather be inside. Man, I can't get it there for nothing. Motherfuckers always want to keep a nigga down. And that CPO, Mad Dog's manager, is putting on me real heavy, man. He covered my style for real. Heavy? Man, he five foot three. But that fool's strong. Man, we gotta take him out. He done blackballed me, man. I can't get in the game no way. I told you, I'm an artist, a communicator, and nobody can even hear my message. He going around telling everybody I'm whack. Well, he obviously ain't heard your new shit. That shit is outrageous. That's what I'm talking about, man. Down with a frown, on the tail, a sad clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to take that motherfucker out. Kill him? Well, I ain't mean, Dana. Listen, he gonna be attendance in my ball ceremony. And that's the only time he leaves dog side. Hey, man. Who's out here to be on relative? Who is this bumping ass mark? You know who this carro belongs to? Oh, 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 she's threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? Hey, what the I fuck are you playing at? Together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big lonely state of Perhaps not. Brian from Los Angeles. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Los Angeles. Don't want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's just my wife said brain dead for years. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice that me. I get away with it all the time now. Even after I did it with your sister, actually our relationship is better than ever. And the passion is amazing. It gets worse. I'm a new person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, I put her in a coma myself. I mean, it's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, last night, I wondered what it would be like to be brain dead. Then I watched my five uncles. God, I'd love to live in that house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Hey, hello, lonely heart. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out, you know, that I could help out some of y'all clients, you know. This is none other than Jizzy, the proprietor of the Pleasure Dome's Club. If anybody is out there lonely, first of all, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be lonely. 
You understand? That's why I'm in the business of keeping people with company. You know what I'm saying? People who got low self-esteem, they need to pick me up. They need to come down to the pleasure dome. Hang out with me. Just hey, what kept you? Girl. Come on, you know we need to go and pick up the bus. Company. Congratulations on your award, you must be thrilled. Yeah, 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 I, I like to thank my fans, my mama, and my dealer. Hold position in the middle of the motorcade until we get to the award show. Stay close and let's roll. Hey man, take me back to Dog's Man. Not today, asshole. Today, we taking the scenic route via the bottom of the ocean. I am. Ever since man kicked out of the garden, he's been striving. Security team, the principal is being kidnapped. Rescue him at all costs. Who the fuck are you? Where's my usual driver? Unlock this fucking door. I can't fucking swim, you fucking psycho. Ah, so I've heard. What you want, fool? Money? I got bitches. Loads of fine bitches. Take it. They'll do anything you want. You want a record contract? Man, I can make any fool a superstar. I know people in this town. Shut up! My next door neighbor has some huge melons, and everyone just spawns over them. Oh, they keep so sweet. Oh, look how firm they are. What do I do? I would love. Don't try hit me up with that ghetto babble boy. Officer Tim Penny, how you get my number? Ways and means, you piece of shit. You been trying to avoid me? No, sir. I just been busy, that's all. You're not busy unless you're doing something for us, you understand? Yeah. Loud and clear. Nice to hear it, Carl. Call in to the donut place. 